Hey everyone, how's everybody doing today? Awesome! We are doing great, Jess and I, and we welcome you today to another workout. Um, I just was reading the chat here, and uh, Kurt's children are on. It is, um, I'm not sure the girl's name, it's her, his daughter's birthday, 12th birthday today. So happy birthday! Guess what we're going to do for you in the warm-up? We are... We're going to do birthday burpees, <laughs> okay? So we're, we'll start the warm up, <laughs> and then we're going to get those 12 burpees in. I know a lot of you that are on right now are so happy that it's just 12, okay? And uh, and we're going to do mainly a kettlebell workout today. But let's get started with our warm up, okay? So we're going to have our feet about hip width apart, toes off to the side, and let's do some squats, okay? So most uh, efficient movement, most functional movement that we need to do, okay? We have to squat during the day. Um, how many times to get things done, right? We sit in our chair, we get up, okay? So let's get those squats in to warm up the hips, the legs, okay? And use your breath. Let's do 16 today, and Jess is keeping track. Okay, of the count, one more. Okay, one more, awesome. Okay, let's do our cross back lunges today. Okay, so you're gonna cross back and lift. Okay, now remember um, if your knees bother you, your back bothers you, then just take it to a little bit of a dip. Okay, right here, use the arms, good. And if you're okay with it, dip right down. Okay, and we're gonna do 16 of these. So keep going, follow yes. Jess. Okay, yes, let's have a party. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> okay, we'll do some front kicks next. Legs nice and straight. Jen is on and she never chats, Tanya says. Tanya says. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Hey, Jen. Okay, yeah, let's have that party. Okay, so we're going to. Let me know your daughter's name so I can uh, we can say happy birthday when you do those burpees. Okay, what do you have? Okay. 13, 14, 15, and 16. Great job. Okay, so um, yeah, let's go ground back. So make wide arms up, reach in front, middle, and back. You can step up a little bit and switch, front, middle, back. Remember to get that nice hinge from the hip. Keep your spine nice and long. Okay, you want to always avoid rounding the back. Okay, remember, even with your spine nice and long, it's easier to breathe. Okay, let's see that nice press back. Good. Get our arms up. Yeah. Okay. Nine. One more. And ten. Good job. Okay, let's go into that spider lunge. Okay, so coming right down and rotating. Okay, and again, remember that if it's a little too much to get all the way down, this is good, right here. You can bring your hand on the outside of the knee and the opposite arm comes up. Okay, now do the modifications. Okay, open, track it with your eyes. Okay, and again, watch that your your hips don't rotate, they stay nice and square. Good, and you get that spinal rotation, that trunk rotation. Good, what do we have? Eight. Good, and nine. Good, and breathe out. Ten. Good job. Okay, let's get those quads. Okay, once again, if you need to hold on to something, I'll grab this. Okay, so you have your couch or your chair right here and you can hold on and stretch. Okay, so take a little bit of time to really feel that stretch. Okay, open right up and feel that lengthening of the quads and right into the hips. Okay, okay and if you want to work on that balance, this is nice too. Just to try to work on that balance as you stretch. Number? Nine. Good, one more is good. Excellent. Okay, let's get those glutes 
Again, if you want to work on your balance, okay, you can be right here. If not, you just have the wall behind you, okay, to help support, and you can stretch up those deep glutes, okay, those deep butt muscles. Okay, keep following Jess. We just want to check uh, the chat. It's Jessica G. Okay, happy birthday, Jessica. Happy birthday, Jessica. Her real name is Jessica, but she likes Jess the first. <laughs> uh, okay, what did we forget? I'm off track here. How about we do this? Okay, we just do, we don't need a lot of room. We're going to do a few shuffles, okay, to the right and the back. I'll move up a little bit, okay? You can see Jess. So let's shuffle over, okay, far over as you can. Nice, again, over, good, and back, okay, and crossover. So you can add a little bit of a hop, and if you don't want to hop, then just step cross behind, cross behind, okay, again, cross and behind, nice. Okay, so let's go, let's face this way, Jess, and we'll go high knees, so you go high knees, or not, we can do this. Okay, just get those knees up. Perfect. Let's try it one more time. Okay, so get some good flexion or bend at the hips. Watch you don't come forward. And then we'll do the kickbacks. Okay, so you can do this if you don't want to add that little pop. Okay, again, kickbacks, kickbacks, use the arms. Good. Okay. I think that's good. Yeah. Okay. I think we're warmed up. Remember, if you need a little extra warm up, you can get on before 12. You know, you can run on the spot, do some jacks and whatnot if you need a little bit more warm up. Today, we're going to do two six minute AMRAPs, okay, with a two minute rest in between the six minute, uh, the first six minute AMRAP and the second, okay? So we're going to first one. We're going to do a kettlebell high swing, okay? So Jess can do a little demo. Well, oh, they're high swings. I thought they were high pulls. First is high swing, okay? So we're going to go high swing, good, okay? If you don't want to do the swing above the head, you can just go to the chest, okay? So you can just go to the chest if you wish. Now remember that you can use your water bottle, paint can, soup can, right? And you can go above or just to the chest. It's all in the hips. Okay? The rep scheme will be first round is two. Okay? And then you're going to add two reps each round. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Hopefully everybody gets beyond the ten. Okay? And you're going to combine that with twenty double unders. Okay? Or sixty single jumps. Even if you don't have a rope, you can do this, okay? Or you can stay at the 20 jumping jacks, or take the bounce out and do 20 of these. I'll do the modifications as we go through, okay? So we're gonna start with that. So kettlebell high swing, 20 double unders or jacks or singles, okay? With your high swings, add two reps each time you go back to that kettlebell. Two minute reps, okay? And then we're going to go into the high pull, okay? We're going to go to the kettlebell, high pull, okay? And really drive it with the hips, okay? And again, you can use water bottle, okay? You can use uh, anything, right? Like a paint can or a can. Uh, uh, okay, so then we're going to add burpees. Sorry, I lost track. Okay? <laughs> You're going to start, say, 10 burpees. You can do chest to floor or not. You can go onto the couch, right? You can jump back, reach, or step back and reach. Okay? So a lot of modifications. People are asking for a lot of modifications. I'll provide them today. So that will be another six minute AMRAP, so let's see how many rounds we can go. Okay, and I'll give you instruction as we go to in case you need a little bit more. And then we're going to end today with some stretching on a mat. Okay, so let's get started. Grab your kettlebell, your 
your paint can, your soup can, your water bottle, or nothing. Okay? And we'll set the clock. You got, okay, Jeff has it. Okay, so six minutes again. We'll count you down. Be ready. Three, two, one, go. So you're going to do two high swings. Okay? Then you're going to go to your jump rope or jumping jack, so 20 double unders, or 60 singles, okay? Or 20 jumping jacks, or jacks without the back, okay? When you're done that, you're gonna move back to your kettlebell. So two moves, press up today, okay? Back to your kettlebell, now you're gonna do four repetitions, okay? Of those high swings, make sure you drive it with those hips. Okay, back to your jump rope for 20 double unders, 20 jacks with a bouncer without, or you can have your rope 60 singles, six zero. Okay, I think we're on a roll now. We know where we're at with the rep scheme. Okay, good job, Jess. So, in one minute, we've got two rounds in. Okay, so now from four, she's going to six. You might still be on your four, okay? So either or, she's going to really drive with those hips, okay? Get a breath at the top. If you've got heavy load, whether it's a kettlebell, it could be actually a dumbbell too. Um, I did fail to mention that. Just hold it right here. Make sure you're not coming too far forward and drive with the hips. Okay, and again, back to your jumping or no jumping. Okay, remember the number 20, double letters. Okay, jumping jacks, jacks without the jump, or 60 singles. Okay, so yeah, if you have that, um, that dumbbell, sometimes with the dumbbell, I find people lean too far forward. Okay, so make sure you're raised right here and driving. And if you don't want to go above the head, like Jess is, just go to the chest, okay? And again, drive with the hips. Face and strong. Lots of power from the hips. Okay, so where are you at right now? Remember, we started with two reps. Then we go to four, six, eight, ten. So you're always adding two reps. Okay, we're coming to about half time. Okay, and you should start to feel warm. Sweaty, okay, and you should start to feel like, uh, okay, this workout is getting a little tougher, okay, because we're adding those reps right here, keeping that heart rate up with the jumps or jacks without the jumps. Okay, good stuff. Nice work, Jess. Keep it going. Drive with the hips. Good. Breathe out at the top of that lift, gang. Okay, you don't want to hold your breath. What do you want? Finishing 10. Okay, so she's finishing 10 with her double unders um, at just under three minutes. Where are you at? Okay, so let's keep the, the intensity up if you can. This team boy is only six minutes, okay? And then you get a two minute rest. So lots of recovery. So the uh, the intent of the workout is to go hard for six minutes if you can. If you need the rest, please take the rest. If you feel like you can just keep going with no rest, keep going. Okay, so where are you at? You've got two minutes, 17 seconds left. Keep pumping and pushing, get that heart rate up. Okay, Jamie's at eight. Way to go, Jamie. Good stuff. Okay. Good work. Nice. One minute. Four to five seconds left again. Keep it going. Okay. Keep pushing so you're into the last uh, minute or so. So try to keep going. If, uh, if you can, just push through. You're going to elevate that heart rate and feel great, and then you get some good recovery. Two minutes. 
Okay, so remember, if you don't want to go above the head, just to the chest, okay, and drive those hips, okay, hips, nice. Remember, if you have that water bottle, okay, soup can, cake can, whatever you're using. Good job, way to go, finishing 12 steps. 14, 14, oh, she's finishing 14. <laughs> Last minute, okay, this is where you really want to keep going. Let's keep pushing. You guys are all doing awesome, okay? Make sure you're breathing throughout your movement. You're not holding your breath. 45 seconds left. Good job. Keep going. Nice. Okay, use that breath. Nice. Drive it with your hips. Keep your feet planted to the floor. Okay, you just need to scrunch those toes up. Keep it planted and really engage that lower body. Okay, to get you through that movement. Breath at the top. Good job, you've got 14 seconds left. Okay, Jess is gonna try to push through and get her 20 down on her 10. She's got five seconds left, four, three, Two and one. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. Good job, gang. So we are done in six minutes. Take two minutes of uh, recovery. So the fitter you are, the quicker you're going to recover. So have a good drink of water and get ready for uh, AMRAP number two. So as many rounds as you can. Please post and let us know how many rounds you got in. Just finished that 16, round, or, uh, 16 reps. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, eight rounds. Nice. I managed to do 12 this morning. Okay. So, um. What color is your 12 <laughs> Yeah, exactly. How heavy is the load? Exactly. Okay, so next up, kettlebell high pull and burpees, okay? So remember that the kettlebell high pull is you can use you can use your water bottle, soup can, right? You're gonna pull up, right here, right up, okay? And again, it's driving from the hips, getting that pull up. Watch it don't lean, okay? Nice and upright position. We're gonna start in 47 seconds. If you need to do modified vertices, remember reach back, jump back, up, or step back, step up and reach, okay, so just keep that movement going, okay, so you're going to start with the two reps again and add two each round, okay, we're going to start in 21 seconds, I'll check the chat, somebody's beating you, Jamie, 12 and it's Tanya McLeod, okay, Hilarious. <laughs> Two, one, go. So let's go. Two high pulls, 10 burpees. Okay, so you can join Jess and bring your chest right down to the floor. Okay, or not. Okay, so up. Make sure you use your arms. Let's take those arms over your head each time. Okay, get that movement at the shoulder joint. Okay. You can do your 10 burpees right here with a jump, okay, or a step back, okay? So, six minutes, 10 burpees each time, and then increase your reps on those high pulls, okay? And uh, I'm going to read the chat. So, Jess is on four reps down for a second round. Good job. Keep going, again. Jamie says she finished at 12, ha ha, to Tanya. <laughs> Susanna Christie finished 14 rounds, way to go. Jenny, 18, but it was only 30 pound dumbbell. Uh, not overhead, and she did it to her chest and Jacks. No worries, Jenny, you did awesome. Okay, it's hard to keep up with Jess. Suzanne, I think it's Susie says, Tanya, 14 rounds plus 16 kettlebell swings, way to go. Jenny, the kind of jacks you like, Jess. <laughs> Rob Freeman, 12, nice. 
Hey, finished at 16. Mace Frost. I'm not sure if that is Jamie. I think it is. Hey, keep going. Send us that chat. We'd love to hear where you're at. Good work. Good work. Just as far on the here. He's doing her burpees. Okay, so again, make sure you bring your arms up each time. Okay, and open up those hips. Okay, this is the uh, burpees, one of my favorite movements, as most of you know. Okay, as you get right down to the floor, open the hips, jump into that nice squat position, and then open again at the top. Okay, good. Good movement today. Hurry right up and get all those joints. Tanya M is, is uh, Mace Frost. Okay. <laughs> this round this round sucks, she says. Can I still complain? <laughs> of course you can, put, can complain. How are those burpees going, Mace Frost? Jamie says to you. <laughs> we can all just kind of think uh, of all of us being back in the gym working out together. It's uh, it's good to have that mindset, right? So at least we're taking this time to really um, let everything else go and focus on that workout, have some fun with everybody, and connect. Okay, keep going, Jess. You are just under two minutes, okay? Okay, keep going, looking good, looking strong. Okay, so for the birthday girl, for Jessica, Actually, yeah, I apologize. We said we were going to do 12 for you, right? Uh, <laughs> the last round is going to be for you, Jessica. Okay? So your last round of burpees, we're all going to do 12. Not 10, 12. Just for you. And wish you a happy birthday. I'm on 12. You're on 12? Okay. Okay, so Jess is on 12. This Jess. Okay? He's going to do a nice strong high pull using your hips and pulling up. Okay? And we are at one minute, six seconds right now. Okay? So if you're doing your burpees, remember to do 12 just for Jeff and for birthday. Burpees. Okay? So here we are. Jeff here is going to do 12 burpees right now for you, Jeff. Stick off. Okay. Here we go. Finish off, okay? Finish strong. 45 seconds left. Let's do this.
Yeah, I know, that's crazy. Definitely a worthy workout. Okay, I'm going to push this out of the way. We're going to grab some mats and we're going to do some stretching today. I think we all need it. Wow, this is a long time. You were? Uh, Jess just checked her heart rate monitor and she was uh, in the 90th percentile the whole time. Working pretty hard. Okay. Which is awesome. I was in the 80th percentile this morning. I guess I could have pushed harder. Yeah, exactly. I had the 16. Yeah, kettlebell swings and pulls always get the heart rate up. It's great to combine it with something like that for sure. Double enders, jumping jacks, or the burpees. Keep that heart rate up. Uh, okay, so um, grab your mat, grab your water bottle. How much water have you had today? What did you have for breakfast? Or are you doing intermittent fasting and you haven't eaten yet? We'll talk more about that. Me, <laughs> Justice. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll talk more about intermittent fasting. Um, I did 16 and a half hours, so I finished eating yesterday a little earlier, and I would say we'll keep a little longer today. Okay, so let's see where we're at with time, and we'll move to stretching. Okay, so Jamie, 10 rounds, uh, 12 high pulls for Tanya, Rob, 8, Shirley, my my face is a different color. <laughs> I love that. Okay, um, Kurt, thanks for the birthday wishes and burpees. You made her day. Aw, we're so happy we made her day. Wish you the very best day, Jessica. Uh, Navi, finish 10, but my downstairs neighbor probably hates me. <laughs> I love it. Tanya L, I got on two poles, a 14. Nice, Jenny, 12 plus three. No chest to deck burpee. She's got to already I'll always tell us, right? Love you, Jess and G. Oh, we love you too, Je Jen. <laughs> uh, Tanya, I think uh, give us another round of six minutes. <laughs> yeah, okay, Tanya. <laughs> I think everybody's happy. <laughs> if you need a round, another round of six minutes, I don't think you went hard enough. Because <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, I love it, I love it. <laughs> run. Actually, yeah, take the time to stretch. We all need this. Okay? Sometimes at the gym, you guys are rushing back to work, right? We, we have time right now. Maybe you might have to go back to work at home. Okay? But let's take like five minutes just to stretch. And you know what? If you have time, go inside for a run. It's beautiful out. Go for a walk. Okay, get that sunshine on you. Yeah, vitamin D is really, really important. Okay, and don't forget about the kids. Get the kids out too. They need that fresh air. Okay, uh, let's get ready to Okay, so we're going to extend the left leg. Okay, and the right. Right leg is up. Okay, so let's. Stretch that hamstring. Make sure your knee is nice and straight. Okay. You can have your head down or up. If your head is down, please avoid arching your neck like this. Okay. You can put a pillow down onto the right behind your head if you feel like you're arching. Okay. So let's breathe into it, lengthen it out. Now release and let's point the toes to the ceiling. Drop the toes to the shin. Point to the ceiling, get some ankle mobility, and drop towards the shin. Now rotate your ankle around, and in the opposite direction. Perfect. Take your hand on the inside of the ankle, okay? If you if uh, you can't reach that, at least below the knee. Opposite arm up to the side, shoulder head palm up. Take that leg down. Okay, as far as you can down, and then raise it up high towards the shoulder, okay? But you need to keep this hip down, right? You don't want to lift it up. Keep it down, okay? Now reach and look out towards your outstretched arm as you press that leg closer to the floor and up to the shoulder. Very nice. Okay, let's try the other side. Hand on the inside of the ankle or below the knee. And let's take it off to the side. 
as far down as you can, okay? And then look in the direction of the arm, the outstretched arm, and reach. Lengthen and breathe. Good. Okay, bring that leg up to center, okay? And let's take both legs up, okay? Bring them down towards the chest, okay? And feel that nice pull, okay, depending on how tight you are. It might even go into your low back and upper back. Okay, so give it a gentle tug, but at the same time, you want to feel like it's an elastic band pulling. So get a nice pull and breathe into it. Okay, release, take your legs out as wide as you can. And in towards your chest. Again, breathing into that stretch, feeling that pull, that elastic band pull. Good, and then legs together, and try to get, hopefully you'll get a little closer. Get those knees nice and straight, because it feels different when your knees are bent. Okay, so full extension. Okay, and here we go. Nice and wide, pull in and breathe. Good, and release. Okay, let's get those deep glutes. So rest your right foot on top of your left. Foot up off the floor, hand on your shin, the other hand pushing that knee out to the side, and then push that knee into your chest. And you should get a nice glute or butt stretch right here. Again, breathe into it. And release. Opposite side, left foot on your right knee. Lift that foot off the floor, hand on the outside. Good, and let's pull in. Towards the chest. And if you're like me, those deep blue heels are tight. So breathe into it. And feel that stretch. Nice. Okay. Let's do some rollovers again. Okay. So um, I'll give you a modification. We'll start here. Okay. So legs nice and long. Inhale, roll. Exhale, up. As high up as you can, and then lower your hips. Okay, so fold your body in half and roll through to start a position. Now, if you find this a little bit too much, you can use your hands okay, to lift your hips up. Okay, hold it there and roll it down. Okay, if that's a little much, you can just hold on to the knees and then just pull up and down. Okay, so use the modification if you need to. Otherwise, we're going to go for those rolls. Okay? And as you come down, you want to be mindful of feeling one vertebra at a time. Jenny, I know you're doing these ones, right? <laughs> Probably not, eh? With the baby in the way. Exhale up. Get a nice roll back. Exhale up. Roll back. And here we go. Let's hold it up. Okay, so bring your legs up. Hold on to the ankles. And let's stretch right here. So stretch right behind the knees. Okay, pull down and breathe. Okay, if you need to just stay right here, this is good too. You can bring your knees into your chest. Hold it there again, hold that stretch. Okay, and just kind of uh, right between your shoulder blades, that's a uh, stress point. So press down on that, that trigger point right there and breathe this stretch right between the shoulder blades. Okay, hold it there. And that should feel amazing. Good. And release. Okay, let's uh, come up to that seated position. We're going to roll over onto all fours and do a down dog. Okay, so I guess it's a good face to say just be good. Okay, so foot up. Okay, and push forward back, lengthen out. Keep your spine nice and long. You can press those heels down into the mat or into the floor. And then gently release. Okay, drop your hips and so it's your cobra. Okay, 
Okay, so if you need to have your thighs down, you can, or you can stay right up here. Okay, again, down dog. Good, and then release. Into cobra. stretch or if you did something else okay uh suzy can see 12 high poles and two burpees very nice meno uh round 12 high poles good uh suzy says that sucked in a good way i <laughs> love it uh jamie thanks for the great workout you are very very welcome tanya thanks gina and jess needed the stretch of course we all need that stretch <laughs> I'm so glad we did it. Okay, gang. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.